I think the setting up a pop-up shop allows you to test trade your concept um, and get it in front of uh, an actual physical audience so that you can see what works, what doesn't work, what you might need to adapt, what you can do more of. Um, so in that instance, it's really just a case of setting the standard and tone for understanding who your customer is and understanding your brand a lot better. My top tips for setting up a pop-up are think of the customer. Who are they? How do they shop? How do they want to shop? Uh, secondly, I think about the location that you go into. Um, is that specific demographic of customer in that area? Um, or is it going to be a waste of time you being there? You don't always need to be in central London. You can be in different parts of London, the UK, or even the world. Um, I guess, think about your budget. Don't assume that you need to spend thousands of pounds to get a shop that looks amazing. Your pop-up shop concept is going to grow. Uh, so look at furniture that you can reuse uh, that aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. And think about partnering with, say, a set designer or a carpenter who can bring your ideas to life as opposed to going to IKEA and just buying lots of stuff. IKEA is great for some bits, but if you want to try and carve out more of an identity, then think about how best you can work with somebody who's got a different approach to design like a set designer.